So I just noticed this little frog sitting here protecting our tanks. All right, so we got the water temperature uh, in the outside tanks um, to about 75 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and move in some tilapia from the inside and uh, get this um, system cycling with some fish inside of it. Okay, so you probably can't see them too well. Uh, they're in there somewhere. But we got six in this tank and uh, six in this other tank over here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, leave these guys in here and see what kind of nitrates that, uh, they build up in this system. And I'll be doing a water test here pretty quick. So if you go back and look at last week's video, uh, you can see the corn was doing horrible. And we've had about a week of sunshine now. And uh, as you can see, the corn is actually starting to take off. So nutrients must be building up in the system now that the rain has stopped. So uh, that's pretty exciting. This one's doing well also. So I think that I think that was the problem. Just the rain was wiping out my or limiting, either wiping it out or limiting the growth of the beneficial bacteria. So a cover on this system is going to be essential, and that will be built uh, towards the end of the summer. So as you, as you can probably see, we have we've had quite a bit of growth in here uh, without any fish in the system. Uh, these. These uh, clones, or cuttings, or whatever you want to call them, uh, have seemed to have taken off. This one's doing pretty well here. Uh, I have a couple more eggplant pl planted in the system, and then I got some more cherry tomatoes uh, in the system right there. Uh, the peppers aren't doing too hot, but that's okay, because we have, we have the, the ones uh, growing inside are doing really well. But uh, you, as you can probably see right here, we have our first tomato coming in, uh, in, the, uh, in the greenhouse, and uh, this, this green bean plant is actually doing really well. This one's starting to take off too, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, the uh, lettuce bed, I still haven't planted the second row, which I need to do. I've just been kind of slacking off. But uh, this, the growth in this is getting pretty amazing. I'm, 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 I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. And then the dwarf tomato plants are growing. And you can see, uh, where was it? Uh, on this one, we're starting to get some buds growing, so that's pretty cool. So hopefully soon we can get some tomato plants. Now I know these are gonna probably clog up my towers, but you know, I, that's okay. I'll just clean them out. It's not that big of a deal. I, you know, I assume with strawberry, strawberry plants will probably do the same thing. So, you know, we'll, we'll let them go and see what happens. So I found an electric toothbrush here and I'm gonna use this to uh, pollinate my tomato plants all over, all over the property. So uh, I guess this is how you do it. I've never actually seen this. So I'm just gonna turn it on and I'm just gonna start hitting the, the flowers with it. And it really shakes, I mean, it gets them vibrating pretty good. And I imagine that's, that's what pollinates the flowers. So I'll hit all, I'll hit all the, uh, the buds that are on the property and see if we can get a better um, uh, grow rate on these tomatoes. So I think these are the cherry, uh, I'm sorry, these are the Cherokee tomatoes. Uh, Cherokee purples that we have growing in the topsy turvy, and uh, they're they're coming back all right. But I'm gonna hit these uh, with the electric toothbrush also. Just really get them vibrating in there. Now I've read that it kind of imitates a bee's uh, vibration that it makes with its wings, and I imagine that's why this supposedly works so well. But um, I've never tried it, so we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we installed a Venturi on this downspout uh, on the floating raft system, and it's, it's, I mean, it's doing all right. It's not working as well as I would, I would have liked, but um, that doesn't really matter because we are going to put an aerator uh, still. We just haven't done it yet. Uh, in between these are uh, air, air, an aerator with lines in between these, these Metalla filters, so, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys uh, the habanero plants and how uh, how well they're they're growing. Uh, this one uh, it's not as big, but it is uh, growing pretty you know a lot taller. This one is just really bushing out, and I'm really happy with the progress of it. Uh, we have a bunch of little uh, buds in there. You can see uh, that I've been um, or that I will and have uh, been trying to pollinate with the electric toothbrush. And th th there's four or five. So I, I really do expect uh, there's actually more than that. I can see them back there, uh, but I, I do expect some peppers uh, 
to start growing on this plant, so I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, these dwarf tomatoes are, are getting a, a lot bigger. Uh, this one's a, uh, this one's a lot a, a lot more bushy than, than, than this other one. Um, I'm sure there's some suckers in there that I could probably pull off, uh, maybe. Uh, but but whatever. And uh, you know the the bell pepper are still doing really well. Um, you can uh, see them down here. It's just a whole mess of them in there. So they're getting you know nice and big. And hopefully in a couple weeks we can uh, pick these and put them in a stir fry or something. So. So thanks for watching this video guys. I apologize if the length of this video is a little shorter than, than uh, usual, but to be honest with you, I'm kind of uh, running out of things to update you guys on. So um, if you have any suggestions or if there's something you'd like to see more of, uh, please get on our Facebook fan page. Uh, you can find links to it uh, there uh, at uh, hdaquaponics.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at hdaquaponics. And I guess uh, until next week.